So it looks like the BBC Pedo Ring license now will be up to 150 quid soon. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome to a TV licensing episode. Today, that intro that you saw will probably be the last time you see that intro of TV licensing episode because they've upped the game from £147 to 150 quid. So yeah, which is funny because I've just done that intro, what, two or three months ago and already I'm going to have to get another intro. But do you know what, BBC, I'm so fed up with you um, changing the damn price, I've decided to not even bother with the included amount in the intro and just to say do not pay for a license and a story. Because to me, that intro that I make um, will not be um, handy anymore because they keep changing it. It was 145. 147 and now it's 150 so I'm not gonna you know put in the intro exactly how much you know you would owe a TV license to save you money because they're always fucking changing it anyway yes you've heard true they've changed their game again and I know I'm late to this one later than I'm bad hang on I'm gonna turn the lights on so yeah basically 150 quid Still not getting that from me, TV licensing, and you're you're basically just showing how fucking desperate you are. Now it was 147, and then you upgrade your game to fucking 150. Come on. Now to to people that are worried about TV licensing, don't be worried about it. I've even got a whole folder connected to TV licensing, and there's so many of them in there. Just so many. They repeat themselves over and over and over again in the letters. It starts with the polite letter, which looks a little bit like this. And then they start to go a little bit more aggressive. And then they go to this toilet paper fiasco. But nowadays it's different. So who knows if they do that stupid... Um, what do you call it? Time window thing that says you haven't paid your license... Um, or in there you've moved, you, when you move property and you get that green thing that I just showed you it probably just says investigating your address until March or something I don't know what's going to happen because I moved in 2015 baby not 2018 so yeah basically <clears throat> first I've got to show you that my name was back on the letters when I got my next letter after the other video that I made over TV licensing this one right there onto the Right there, it says illegal occupier. So yeah, I did get next door's neighbour's um, TV licensing thing. Which either shows that he doesn't want a TV license or the factor of he doesn't live there and they're still trying to pester the shit out of him for it. But anyway, that just shows with all those letters that I've collected since 2015, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. They send endless fucking letters through the two or three years I've lived here and still nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Okay, they've put my first name and my second name on the letter, but I never contacted them. So yeah, you just don't contact them, folks. That's a simple way forward for it. So yeah, 150 quid. Wow, BBC, that just shows that you can't make your mind up or you're fucking desperate for people's uh, money and all that. And as someone said in the comments, no one's going to be able to afford the BBC soon because the amount that they've put it up to, it's going to get so high that people won't be able to pay for one. Won't be able to pay for one? Hardly anyone can pay for one now. 145 was a lot. 147 was greedy. And then 150 was even more greedy. So, what next? £300? Or even better, do what the court settlement says, a thousand pounds, because then you've overrided yourself, BBC. My advice is, if you don't watch TV, don't have a TV license. If you want to keep feeding those pedo bastards, go ahead. But I don't. Simple as that. 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And just remember, if you're worried about not having a license, here is my tips to you guys. One, the letters are bollocks. Just throw them away, or just put them to one side, or just leave them as a collection like I do. Two, never ring them, never respond to them, never open the door to them. Keep them knocking outside in the fucking frost, the snow, the fucking great summer that's going to happen out there. And three, do not watch iPlayer. Do not watch live signals. Simple as. And your life will be free from these bastards. It doesn't matter what you do anyway behind that door anyway, because it's your private property, unless you're under council. So, these pricks are just playing with fire here. And they're definitely playing with fire, because according to a new study, study, I don't know, I, I got it off the internet, um, but apparently they're going to be ISP tracking to people that say that they don't need a TV license. So that means that they have literally given you the middle finger to your privacy. They've also, with, the, with this information that they found out out of me, my actual full name, they've fucked with my data protection. They've also fucked with people's um, ISPs, because uh, that's your biggest privacy in the book. And what they're doing is going to be very illegal, so I don't think it's going to be patched across. But if it does, it just shows how fucking shit society can get. I've got nothing to hide anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, there is a simple way around this ISP thing. Just change, you know, your VPN, and you should be fine, you know, if you want to watch iPlayer or whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not encouraging people to do it. I'm not saying do it now, am I? I'm just saying, for your privacy and for your right... I think you should be allowed to do what you want behind the door and not get fucking nosed at by a fucking copper or a fucking TV licensing scum of the universe team that break more laws than you would ever do. So don't buy a license, folks. That's all I have to say. Unless you want to buy one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.